so it finally happened. I got sick. My voice is gone, but I don't skip leg day. I'm going to keep this short because I can't really talk. It's very hard to talk. <clears throat> so, um, went in, did my workout, man. I started with, um, started with reverse hypers, superset with hyper extensions. So I did four sets of 10 of each of those. Then I moved on to squats. I did 135 for five, 225, I'm sorry, 185 for three, 225 for two, 275 for one, 315 for one, 365 for one. I'm not feeling all there, so I didn't go to four to 405. Did 315 for one, 275 for one, 225 for two, 185 for three, 135 for five. After that, I did my tricep. I did my 10, 10, and 10. So I did belt squats. I did 10 set, 10 sets of 10 of that. Super set with um, hip thrusts. 10 sets of 10 of that. Super set with leg extensions. 10 sets of 10 of that. So overall I did, well, 30 sets. That was pretty cool. Then I did four sets of seated calf raise and I'm done. So today we're finished up packing. Actually gonna put my clothes in suitcases. Uh, get the pantry packed and tomorrow is Christmas. And then um, the movers come the day after. So it's gonna be a very hectic day. I gotta go move a fridge right now. Um, we just sold a fridge, so we're gonna move that. But overall, I'm out, I can't talk. Peace out, y'all. Man, you guys see, I'm, my, my, I'm like shedding. Like I have water and boogers coming out of my nose. I just went to Target, CVS, and got more uh, medicine, a Dayquil and Mucinex and everything. And this is the sickest I've been in a while, man. Like, uh, man, hold on, I think I was sneeze. Oh, never mind. So I haven't vlogged much. So what we did is I got home from training. I helped move a fridge out of the house because we sold our fridge in the basement. And um, so then I took the kids to Dr. Stew's and they did, uh, they did their training as well as some short-sighted games, small-sided games. And now we are um, packing. So after I took them there, came home, um, I had to take a little nap. I'm packing now. Just finished packing all my clothes. I'm about to go take down the TV in the basement. Finish packing up the garage and all that good stuff. So um, it's just one of those I got to fight through it. I'm sick. It is what it is. Hopefully it's gone by tomorrow. But hopefully the mucinex and everything. I'm feeling better. My wife made me some essential oils tea with like lemon oil and peppermint oil and whatever oil and some honey. Honey's great. Antibacterial. Antibiotic effects. Antiviral effects. Being that my carbs are so high, I'm taking a lot of honey. I'll probably take in six or seven tablespoons of honey. There's also honey in the Outright Bar. Honey is just an amazing food. It's a superfood, and that's why I put it in the Outright Bar, because I really believe in the benefits of honey. Um, it's also very low glycemic, um, so it's safe for diabetics. But anyway, guys, I'm going to finish packing. I'll give you guys another tour of the house later, but um, I'm going to finish up this tea, then get to work. <laughs> This is every night, dude. He eats out of the friggin' ice cream thing. <laughs> every friggin' night. Yeah, he still weighs under 70 pounds. <laughs> Bro, you need to add something to that. What about if you add a pop to it? Yeah, you could do a pop tart in there, dude. Or this is hilarious. Not even Superman. That would taste disgusting. It depends what kind of pop tart flavor you have, bro. That's how you make gains, kids. So I apologize for today's vlog, but I told you I'd get you one up every day. Bottom line is, I woke up regardless of how I felt. I still trained. Still got all my chores done. Got the garage all packed up. I mean, our house is just a boxed up mess. Um, wait, hold on. Let me see. Let's, uh, let's go for a little walk real quick. Hold on. So let's go to the garage real quick. So here's a lot of what I did today. Got all backed up. <clears throat> we have a trash bin coming in. Um, get all this trash going. So from here to there, that's all trash. So we got a trash bin coming. Um, blue goes into storage. Red goes to the apartment. Cleared out all the cabinets, except for the obviously stuff we can't clear out. And uh, you know, obviously I have my training bag for tomorrow. Got my boxing stuff and my kids' boxing stuff for uh, be able to box. Obviously, take those with us. And uh, it's just a disaster. But it's been, uh, it's been a chore getting this all done while sick. So I went and I got some Dayquil and Mucinex and NyQuil and everything to get me through this. But it's, uh, it's definitely a trying experience. Um, 
because this is sucks. But tomorrow we will have a better vlog. Hopefully I'll have a voice back at least a little bit and we'll be able to get back to it. So it's the outright bar, man. It's all natural ingredients, made with real food. None of that. You ever, you ever want to work out? You want just a little snack, a little bar before training, but you know the other bars might give you a gut bomb. Right. This is something that doesn't have any prebiotic fiber, no glycerin, no sugar alcohols. It's whole, real food. That is a tasty bar. Really? It's easy to eat. It's not too chewy. Normally, eat something like this with a big ass glass of milk. That's good. So it's like a good. Really good. It's not good. If you want, we also have the. Want to try the almond butter one while we're here? I'd love to. All right. So this That's is bar. This is made with almond butter, Steve. That's a butter too. Really? It's badass. Yeah. Good protein bars. Where can people find these? Well, they can find it at many retail stores. You can find it at TigerFitness.com. Two badass protein bars. So oh. they get uh, two double uh, metal fingers uh, <laughs> from Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line. <laughs>